As friends, they began as an unlikely pair. Oh, go ahead. Fiona and Karen's lives used to be so different. They lived a world apart. I was a long-haul truck driver. I was living in London, England at the time. What they did share was youth and the kind of freedom that comes when anything is possible. Neither could have imagined that freedom was about to be ripped away. And I woke up one day, I had double vision, like really bad double vision. Karen was 35 and otherwise healthy, but her immune system was attacking her brainstem. Karen had MS and her disease progressed quickly. Within a few years, Karen became a shadow of who she once was. You're just getting sucked, you know, away. I was so neurologically challenged sometimes I had to get carried because I couldn't even sit in a wheelchair. Fiona's diagnosis came at just 32. She too faced a powerful form of MS, a disease that pummeled her nervous system with recurrent all-out attacks. I would get to a plateau and then it would get worse again. And then in October of 09, I ended up paralyzed from my waist down. Her paralysis would relapse and remit, but drugs never worked for long. Doctors tried steroids, powerful chemotherapies, but soon ran out of options. I'm dying, and I knew I was dying. I'd been told I was dying. I was totally too comfortable with that situation. As I look back now, I was way too comfortable with the fact that I was absolutely dying. Young women taken down at the prime of their lives by MS. It's a tragic story that has been told far too many times. But their story is different. It doesn't end this way. Are, are you cured? I think so. But according to you? They don't, they don't know. They don't have an answer for that. Today, the woman who battled long periods of total paralysis works out daily at the gym. They are both off all MS medication and working to reclaim a life that had been once thought lost. So what and who is responsible for this miracle? The answer is found with a research team in Ottawa and involves stem cells. Well, the procedure that they went through was called a, an autologous bone marrow transplant. Fiona and Karen are part of a small group of MS sufferers who have received this protocol. It's an aggressive therapy that brings patients to the brink of death in order to give their immune systems a complete reboot. The process is painful and dangerous, but for Fiona, Karen, and dozens of others, it's been a success. The fact that I'm here and I am able to talk to you and tell people that this really does happen.